Hello, very good morning folks. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the Hyderabad Club. 9th January 2023. A decent car. The only punter friendly center left uh, these days. Uh, among other centers folks. Uh, these are my pointers folks. Uh, my tips are always after the paddock. Uh, you guys can come live or watch it. Uh, on uh, social media or or some uh, groups that I post, if I have time, that is. Uh, it's not very hard, folks, to learn few important metrics, uh, what to observe in the paddock. Uh, there are only uh, four or five important things you have to notice. One is the coat, one is their neck, one is their ears, one is their tail. If you can master these four or five things, you'll become a, a decent uh, quote-unquote handicapper. And, and uh, the last 20 minutes, folks, uh, of all the uh, dirty work the trainer puts in the horse, is the last 20 minutes that uh, the most important few horses sweat uh, profusely. A couple of them, uh, they are, uh, don't want to run. The body language of the horse is very readable, folks, if you just learn. To most of you, all the horses look the same. To me, it does not. Of course, uh, I was fortunate to learn from the best of the best, but uh, you guys can learn too. Few boys came from Hyderabad all the way to learn. I'm trying to find a middle way out. Maybe Google Meet or something where I can, would be happy to teach uh, what good is the knowledge uh, if I don't spread it around. Anyways, we're going to the straight to the races. The first race, the the horse called Balakwa would be hot shot favorite because Suraj riding, but he's an ordinary horse, folks, and he got beat by another ordinary horse called Silk. So nothing to get super excited, especially if it's an odds on favorite. This horse called uh, High Reward, uh, who also got beat. Both of them uh, beaten favorites last time. But High Reward as an apprentice jockey uh, gets the claiming allowance. That 4-5 kilo difference would, should help. But K. Shati's uh, intent, uh, you can only notice in the final uh, closing odds, folks. Uh, if the odds go way south, yesterday also in Kolkata, only two races I made mistake. And, and those two races, the odds went way south. The horse that I liked, uh, Vijay Singh's horse, uh, both Vijay Singh's horse as a matter of fact. So, uh, market these days, folks, uh, has become a very important matrix. Uh, before, I used to take it for granted, but nowadays, uh, even after my uh, post and all, if the horse becomes negative, just leave that race or uh, forget about it. And try to bet as last as you can, folks, otherwise uh, money unnecessary gone down the drain. Anyway, uh, a high reward is uh, uh, can upset the Balakwa and happy-go-lucky can place. Now to the second race, folks. It's the Agostini Plate. Uh, watch the... Uh, it's a baby race. Uh, uh, two, three horses that are running were just given an educative run. Uh, Queen Empress, reigning Queen. Uh, rain, Queen Empress impressed me the most uh, as a run advantage. Uh, reigning Queen also was the fastest finishing at the end. We'll watch in the paddock, body weights, etc. Planet Royale is a full uh, sister to Imtiaz Seth, uh, decent horse called Flaming Lamborghini. Has been given a mock race, so he should be in the mix of the things. We'll watch in the paddock and always decide as usual, folks. Race number three, folks, it's a, uh, a 1200 meter race. Baisa was very, very impressive first time out in six per long race. Subsequently, she ran seven per long and threw the towel. Uh, again, back to six per long, which is her distance, I think. She could easily upset Mosser, uh, the race strictly between these two jodies, I think. Uh, but I, I like Baisa a lot. Again, watch the odds. Lakshman Singh is a very shrewd uh, tipster. If his odds uh, fluctuate, that means he is not sure. And if the odds remain constant, uh, he has a... Uh, big gang of punters betting. Uh, one of the few trainers whose accuracy is almost 80-90%. So, do watch the odds, folks. Uh, 
Deccan Ranger uh, was given a questionable ride. He can be in the play, uh, show money. Uh, that's about it. Race number folks, uh, four, uh, Soprano, uh, victory was very impressive. Uh, I, I like that horse very much, even though it's sparingly raced. Uh, uh, it's one of my, uh, good horses, uh, in my list of the horses. Uh, watch the, again the betting, uh, because of AK and all. And our fantasy is closest competitor. Mr. Perfect gets the so-called quote-unquote negative shoes, but you never know. It could be in the uh, mix of the things. Classic music is the most expensive horse in this. was sold for some umpteen lakhs, but hasn't done anything, but owned by a chairman of Bombay Club and uh, another uh, good uh, uh, group. So keep an eye. Uh, we'll see in the paddock again, decide as usual. Uh, race number... Uh, Fifth, folks, the most open race of the day is Class 3 race, Vasudevan Reddy Memorial Cup. Uh, La Mirage ran in 2,000 guineas, not that it did anything, but the connection thought highly of him, and he's a decent horse. He could be uh, in the uh, uh, first three uh, for sure. Ansang Hero is a decent horse, maybe not up to the mark, but... Uh, could be in the mix of the major Invictus has a penalty to deal with, but he could place. Uh, Candy Girl, again, uh, Ramaswamy gang, only they know what they are doing. But do watch the betting on Candy Girl. She could be upset horse in here. Race number six spoke the Bailey Turk uh, uh, million for the babies again. Two babies who won very impressively should fight it out. One is Proud Mary, she won impressively, and another one was She Can, like I Can, You Can, <laughs> She Can also. Is a sister to Aika, Aika, Aika was a decent horse. Uh, uh, I will uh, see in the paddock. There's a, another horse called Sangriel. He's uh, very well bred. Unfortunately, the sire, you must have heard, uh, died of a very strange uh, Incident, uh, bee, bees uh, got them. Very sad to see two very good sire of Malaya, Kunikal Stur, got uh, killed uh, by some bees. I don't know. They should have taken some care. Uh, God only knows. Anyway, uh, uh, going to the se seventh race, folks. Uh, the uh, ballerina is the youngest of the gang. Uh, very uh, consistent kind of a horse. Uh, Kingston is one of my favorite horses. Uh, I don't know because again Ramu gang, they only know what they are doing. He could be a good place uh, if their intent is positive. Black Onyx, the last year hero folks, if you remember, four or five races in a row or, or uh, he skipped one but he won a lot of races. He's a very good horse. He fit in the paddock running after the little layoff. He could be, the race should be between Black Onyx and Ballerina only, Suraj and AK again fighting it out. Uh, so we'll see. The last race, folks, race number eight is again a class 5B. Not uh, at all my cup of tea. I try to stay away. Today I'm very confident I'll be counting my winnings uh, in the last race and uh, just a uh, flutter bet. Canterbury was a decent second. He's a young horse in this gang. Inside story can place, so can Isa. But, uh, you know, class 5B is a 5B, folks. Anyways, all said and done, do watch the body weight. Yesterday also I made a mistake on that Vijay Singh's horse. I unfortunately could not see uh, the body weight. Uh, that old Jody was both uh, less than 400 kilos and messed up uh, my winnings, uh, meaning uh, loss in a profit. Anyways. I covered half of my loss of the Bangalore bloodbath. Uh, anyways, today I hope to cover the rest of the bloodbath. Uh, today, Hyderabad has been a, a happy hunting ground for me. The form does hold, <clears throat> even though AK's form is lousy these days, but uh, still rides, uh, if it's especially if it's not a favorite, he rides uh, very well. All said and done, folks, uh, Baisa and... Uh, uh, the first race uh, was and the 
uh, what do you call uh, uh, sopranos. High reward, baisa, and sopranos are three of my decent bet uh, for the day. Uh, subject to, as always, folks, uh, body weight, and now new uh, subject to uh, bookies uh, <laughs> closing odds. Because if the odds go south, then especially uh, watch Baisa's odds. Because Lakshman Singh is a astute tipster. <clears throat> if he is not sure, the odds will uh, rise. Doesn't mean he will be not on job, but that means he is not that confident. His confidence reflects in the uh, his uh, odds holding steady, folks. Okay, you have a good one, folks. Uh, gamble sensibly. Uh, this is a good center to gamble. Uh, I know we all have our losses to cover, but within a day or two, we should be able to recover our losses, folks. Uh, Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Do do share uh, if you like it. And please, if you have time, uh, do try to come on live on uh, uh, and do watch the horses in the... Uh, this is a free, one of the only club who gives a free... Uh, you know, I am a little surprised. Okay, bye-bye, folks.